Good afternoon and welcome to the 2021 Can Do Awards. I'm Robert Patterson, the CEO of Kids Can Community Center, and it's my pleasure to invite you to our first virtual hybrid celebration of the awards this year. As many of you know, we were founded as Social Settlement in 1908 and last month marked our 113th anniversary here in Omaha. Throughout the years, this organization has faced many changes, challenges, and obstacles. And in fact, this wasn't even our first pandemic. But like my predecessors, Kids Can has remained steadfast in our resolve to provide programs when families and children need us most. It's with that same sentiment that we decided to live stream this event for the safety and health of many of our supporters. One thing that will never change is the amazing Can Do Award recipients and our sponsors. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some of those sponsors right now. We appreciate your support to educate, engage, and inspire our children. This year's Can Do sponsors are Bellevue University, Gallup, Nebraska Early Childhood Collaborative, Oxbow Animal Health, Union Pacific, and Wells Fargo. And this year's Good Neighbor sponsors are Baird Home, Bridges Trust, Dundee Bank, First National Bank of Omaha, Holland Basham Architects, RJ and Liz Neary, North End Teleservices, and Tanaska. You will also have the opportunity to show your support today. I'm guessing there's no donation card on your desk or your table or your dashboard, but there is a donation link that we're sharing in the chat for those that are watching this live stream. We'll be monitoring that chat and encourage you to comment and congratulate our award recipients along the way. I'd also like to take this moment to thank our Can Do Event Committee and Cliff McAvoy, our philanthropy director, for making this event such a success. Their hard work and dedication are a true testament of what it means to have a Can Do attitude. Thank you for making a difference in this community every day. Now, by popular request and many, many, many letters, we have been asked to bring back Robert's top 10 list. But since we're on a tougher timeline this year, we're just going to give you Robert's top five reasons I'm still, still at Kids Can. Number five is our board of directors. Like all of you, the past year has been filled with uncertainty, navigating waters, uncharted waters, and making difficult decisions with no clear outcomes. Through it all, our board has been so supportive, providing input, and actually returning my emails. Thank you. Number four is my chair. <laughs> no, not my board chair, my actual desk chair, which has gotten more use in the past year than ever before. So thank you for providing support for hours and hours and hours of Zoom meetings. Number three is our staff. I'm doing my best not to use the word pivot again, but the past 14 months have shown our employees' ability to find solutions and be adaptable at every turn. Not only did they show up to provide care to our kids on the front lines, they alter their schedules and programs to meet the changing needs of our parents and schools. They truly have been the silver lining in a challenging year. Number two is our kids. They're the reason I get up and go to work every day. They have persevered through all of these changes with more grace and patience than some adults. Nothing makes me happier than being at my desk and hearing the sounds echoing down the hall, singing, laughing, playing, crying, let's be honest here. If we're being, um, some, some think that noise is a distraction, but for me, it's just motivation to do even more. And number one is our future. After being here 22 years, I can proudly say that the, most, the, thing, the thing I'm most excited about is what's to come. We've been working on plans for a new building for quite some time, but now can officially announce that we'll be breaking ground on a new facility late this summer. It will double the square footage, double the capacity for kids, and double the noise. For the first time, we will age our programs down to infant care, have a special room for STEM projects, and most importantly, we're going to have more than one adult bathroom for the building. You can find more about the Capital Campaign at our website at kidscan.org or check out the link in the chat. All right, the reason we're here are the awards. So our first award today is the Can Do Future Award sponsored by Wells Fargo. This award highlights individuals and organizations that strive to create opportunities for a brighter future in our community. Please welcome to the stage, Christina castro Matukowitz, Vice President of Community Relations at Wells Fargo.
Well, it's 12.08, so good afternoon, everyone. I am so pleased to present the Can, Can Do Future Award to the Omaha chapter of the 100 Black Women and, doc, and to Dr. Idaline Williams, the chapter president. Through this award, we are honoring the energy, creativity, courage, and innovation Dr. Williams and her fellow chapter members have demonstrated over the years. The members of the Omaha chapter of the 100 Black Women are champions of children and families in the Omaha metro area. Their involvement with several nonprofits and their commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion through the programs they provide have demonstrated that they are a strong believers of the opportunities to build a better and more just community for the future. Our Wells Fargo team admires the Omaha chapter of the 100 Black Women and their can-do future attitude. And we are here so happy to celebrate their success. I would like to invite Dr. Idaleen Williams to come to the podium so we can present the award. Good afternoon. It is all praises to God of blessing and joy to be here. Thank you, Chris McAvoy, uh, Robert Patterson from uh, the Can <coughs> Kids Can Community Center who annually sponsors the award, which aligns with their mission, which is to educate, engage, and inspire. I wanna have a special shout out, thank you to my family, my husband, William, William, uh, Reverend Williams, Reverend Williams III, my daughter Janice, who was here, and she's also a member of the National Coalition of 100 Black Women, Great Omaha Chapter, my daughter Jenna, and my seven precious grandchildren. They inspire me. They what keeps me going, and to say I can, and my students at Metro Community College, of which I'm a professor. But most importantly, to Christina Castro Matukovic and Wells Fargo. So on behalf of the amazing coalition, my coalition sisters of the Greater Omaha Chapter, directors, officers, and members, as president, we humbly and joyfully and excitedly accept the Can Do Future Award nominated by Wells Fargo, presented by Kids Can. When Christina contacted me last month and told me she was nominating us, I was just very thrilled and excited. And I brought to her attention the long-term relationship the coalition and Wells Fargo. We go back almost 20 years. Uh, in May, when we were chartered, May of 2003, chartered as Omaha Metropolitan Chapter, Wells Fargo was the first corporate sponsor, gave us $1,000 for our program. I kept that mock check in the garage up until about five or six years ago. <laughs> I still had that check. And then when we were rechartered to align more with our advocacy mission in December, of 2017, guess who was there to support us? You said it, Christina and Wells Fargo. So go back almost 20 years and I thank you so much. We are deeply appreciated for the partnership. The coalition of 100, National Coalition of 100 Black Women strive to create a better future through impactful programs, which addresses our mission to advocate on behalf of black women and girls, to promote leadership development and gender equity in the areas of health, education, and economic empowerment. These include our four pro-signature programs, Talking Circle, the Mental Health Summit, Women of Color and Leadership, Legacy Awards, and Systemomics. The Systemomics programs includes a component for teen, teen boot camp, in which we impress upon them and we strive to teach them at an early age financial literacy and independence in preparing for financial life after college or adulthood. We are one of over 60 chapters throughout the United States, a 38-year advocacy organization whose vision is that black women and girls will live in a world where socioeconomic inequity does not exist. Furthermore, we envision using our collective voices for social justice, respect, empowerment, integrity, collaboration, and change agents in the community to equip black women and girls to achieve, succeed, and excel. 
Achieving this bold vision requires looking beyond the next few years and establishing a bold plan. And so it is with this aggressive action that we are called to action, called to focus on quality advocacy and ultimately growth. We are called to action for the future, to advocate on behalf of black women and girls, to be vital in shaping the changing lives and service to women and girls in the Omaha community. The National Coalition of 100 Black Women Greater Omaha Chapter stand proudly. Our members are passionate. Our members are positioned to have an even greater impact, a transformational impact at the very time when we are needed most. Thank you, my coalition sisters. And we have the first vice president of program, Pam A.G. Lyre, that is here in person to support. Thank you. We thank you, Wells Fargo. We thank you, Kids Can. We can do for the future. We rise. Thank you. Congratulations, Dr. Williams, well deserved. Next up is the Can Do Junior Award sponsored by Bellevue University. This award recognizes a student who is a positive role model for their peers and is committed to their academics. To present the award, please welcome Dr. Michelle Epler, Kids Can board member, and what I suspect is the longest job title today, Associate Vice President of the Human Capital Lab and Dean of the College of Continuing and Professional Education at Bellevue University. Thank you, Robert. Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, we are very excited today to talk about our Can Do Junior Award winner. On behalf of Bellevue University, it does give me great pleasure to present the Can Do Junior Award to Ashton Evans. Ashton is a sixth grader from Gilder Elementary and has attended Kids Can since he was in kindergarten. Ashton loves school, but says his favorite part of the day is when he gets to go to Kids Can after school. Because even if he's having a tough day, they instantly turn things around and make things happy, putting him in a good mood. He also likes how Kids Can lets him try new things. Like when he participated in robotics and other science and technology activities for the first time. Ashton told us being part of Kids Can has taught him many lessons that he will take with him throughout his life, like, will, like being willing to try new things that he can be anything that he wants when he grows up. And maybe one day I'll convince him he should be a Yankees fan too. All right, come on up here, Ashton. Congratulations. Um, part of this, come on up. Part of the uh, special piece of, of this award is that this is actually um, a first year scholarship. So as a sixth grader, he can say that he already has a scholarship to go on to the to university. So congratulations. <laughs> We would like to let Ashton know how proud we are of him receiving this. And we would like to thank Beth and Jenna from Gilder's Kids Can and Bellevue University. I almost forgot. That's, that's okay. Thank, thank you. you. Say thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Ashton. I know you're going to grow into a strong future leader. Um, also, shout out to just beyond the, the Gilder team as the after school program, this is also after school professionals week. So, thank you to all of our providers and educators that are working to provide care for our kids out of school. Now, it's my privilege to thank the first half of our best friend sponsors American National Bank, Bland and Associates, Boyd Jones, CBRE, Deloitte. Barb Eltz, Home Instead, Investors Realty, Kiwit Building Group, Lincoln Financial Group, and Methodist Hospital. Next up is the Can Do Hope Award sponsored by Gallup. This award recognizes individuals or organizations who champion hope in our community, focusing on strengths and opportunity rather than obstacles. 
Please welcome to the podium Scott Moulton, Kids Can board member and director of properties at Gallup. Good afternoon. Gallup's corporate uh, citizenship program is called Community Builders, and its mission is to support and recognize people and programs that focus on youth, education, leadership, diversity, and strengths in our community. This mission and the amazing work happening at the Kids Can um, Community Center align very well, and as a result, Gallup has been a sponsor of Kids Can um, and is again sponsoring the Can Do Hope Award. This award celebrates individuals and organizations that represent the can-do attitude in our community. This past year, school social workers have been carrying a huge load during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, they already do incredibly important work, um, but they've taken on a, a greater load than almost anyone um, during the pandemic, and we wanted to recognize them. Kate Nicholson started working in the, child well, in the child welfare field nine years ago and has been the school social worker at Wakanda Elementary for the last five years. She strives to make meaningful connections with Wakanda students, families, and community partners. Her commitment is to make <clears throat> Wakanda a place where students and their families feel welcome and believed in. Gallup is proud of all the school social workers in Omaha right now, and we're honored to recognize Kate Nicholson in particular with the 2021 Can Do Hope Award. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I am incredibly honored to be amongst you all and to have been uh, spotlighted as one of the school social workers. I really want to accept this on behalf of all of OPS school social, social workers they have gone above and beyond this past year, and I am so uh, proud to be uh, among their group. So thank you to all of you school social workers. Um, thank you, Scott and Gallup, for, for wanting to uh, spotlight social workers. And thank you, Kids Can, for all that you do. Uh, I'm grateful to be a part of this celebration. And I'm also lucky enough to be at one of the schools that has a Kids Can program. Uh, so shout out Q. And I was actually just emailing with Q this morning about a student that has been telling me how excited she is to start Kids Can. She's one of our first graders, one of our quietest first graders, and the other day she was asking all of her friends, what do you do at Kids Can? I'm gonna be coming to Kids Can. I can't wait to see you after school. So it's a huge program at our school. The kids and the families love it. Uh, so thanks for all that you do in the community. And then my last shout out to Wakanda staff. I could not do um, any of what I do without them and their support of me in my, uh, in my job and my work. So thank you everybody, I'm honored. Thank you and congratulations, Ms. Nicholson, for being a beacon of hope for our students. Our next award is the Can Do Provider, sponsored by Nebraska Early Childhood Collaborative. This award was created to honor childcare providers who go above and beyond in delivering the highest quality care for young children and their families. Please welcome to the stage Michelle Swanson, Lead Family Child Networks, excuse me, Lead Family Child Care Network Specialist at NECC. Good afternoon. We at NECC are delighted to partner with Kids Can today to recognize the accomplishments of family child care providers on their journey to higher quality with the newly established Can Do Provider Award. At NECC, we elevate the business of child care as we work toward our vision of more children prepared for school, prepared for life. Our work is not possible without strong partnerships with community focused organizations like Kids Can and also strong partnerships with child care providers who strive to ensure children and families receive the highest quality care like today's award recipient Don. Don Dreher has demonstrated an incredible growth mindset, both as a business owner and a professional in the field of early childhood education. Since joining our family child care network, Don has graduated from our business training series. She's received her Child Development Associate Credential, also known as the CDA, and is recently enrolled in early childhood courses in college. She's also actively working in Step Up to Quality, which is our quality rating improvement system in Nebraska. She's working with a coach on curriculum implementation. 
In addition to these accomplishments, she has also become an elevated network provider at NECC with a can-do attitude for reaching her continuous quality improvement goals, including the implementation of WonderSchool, which is a new business automation platform. Simply put, the Don I have gotten to know through mentoring and admire, loves children, and her commitment to Nebraska families and providing high quality care is certainly commendable. So I'm very proud to present the 2021 Can Do Provider Award to Don Dreyer. Hi, thank you. Um, I want to thank NECC for the opportunity. They've really helped me exceed with becoming a can-do person. Um, I want to thank my husband, Joe, for helping me and supporting me, and thank you. Congratulations, Don. Uh, we appreciate all you do for our children and their families. It's again my privilege to thank our remaining Best Friends sponsors today. Morrissey Engineering, Mutual of Omaha, Olson, Pacific Village Dental, Sandy Moss and Alan Thielen, Shields, Teal Geotech, Security National Bank, Unico Group, University of Nebraska Medical Center, University of Nebraska Omaha, and Westgate Bank. Our next award is presented by Oxbow Animal Health. This award honors an educator who's working to make a difference within their school. Please welcome Nikki Neenheiser, Education Manager at Oxbow, to present the award. Thank you, Robert, and good afternoon. Oxbow Animal Health is proud to again sponsor the Can Do Educator Award. At Oxbow, we admire and support local educators who invite curiosity, guide learning, spark imagination, and nurture self-esteem in the youngest members of our community. That is why we continue to sponsor this award, honoring a local educator who has made a difference within their school and in support of Kids Can programs. Monica Wells serves as the Family Support Coordinator and School Counselor at Nelson Mandela Elementary. Proud and honored to be raised in North Omaha, Monica has had the privilege of working with inner city youth through education and mentoring for over 15 years. Monica's personal mission has always been to inspire others to be happy, confident, and believe in their full potential. Monica believes in the power of finding your purpose, growing in your purpose, and living it every day. Please welcome to the stage, Monica Wells. Thank you all so very much. I am very honored to be here today. Um, a year ago, our lives changed, all of ours, um, especially in the education world, as all of you may know. Uh, but the education, the support, and the love never stopped. I watched our cafeteria that used to be filled with children laughing um, and hot sauce and ranch turn into, um, turn into a, a food operation center. Um, I watched our, our media specialist and our librarian turn into a comparable um, geek squad from Best Buy, if you will, as she went from door to door helping daycare providers and helping families make sure that they can get online so that their kids can get education. Again, the education, the love, and the support never stopped. I watched the wonderful Shailene Meeks our Kids Can director and her staff go door to door for all the kids in their program and use chalk to brighten up their day and make nice pictures and words of encouragement in front of their house on the cement. The education, the love, and the support never stopped. Through all of the pandemic, which we are still going through, the civil unrest and the racial tension, the education, the love, and the support can never stop. The mission, um, of our mantra at Nelson Mandela um, is something that we recite every single day, all of our scholars. And it is education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. I will change the world with my hope, strength, service, unity, peace, and wisdom. We live that every day. 
we will continue to live that every day. Our teachers mount up like the Avengers in times of trouble, and I love them all very much. I am honored to receive this award today. I want to thank Oxbow, uh, for, Oxbow for um, this, just presenting this award um, and sponsoring this award and your warm conversation today. I'm excited. Uh, we had a great time at the table. Um, I want to thank the chefs for that wonderful salad. It was an awesome salad today. Um, I want to thank Diane Logier for her vision for Nelson Mandela. Um, we're thankful for your leadership, thankful for, for all that you do for all of us. Um, I want to thank my pastor, uh, Jonathan Chapman at Church on Purpose, for always just encouraging us to live each day on purpose. Um, I want to thank my family, my mother, my brother, and I want to thank my beautiful daughter, Layla Wells, who is here with me today. Layla, you are light, you are strength, and I love you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Oxbow, and congratulations to Mrs. Wells, and thank you for your inspiring words. Our next award is the Can Do Mentor Award, sponsored by Union Pacific. Mentors play a very special role in a child's life, bringing dreams and goals into, a fo into focus. Please welcome to the stage Diana Prowner, Kids Can Board Member and General Director of Revenue Accounting at Union Pacific. Thank you and good afternoon. Union Pacific is honored to present the Can Do Mentor Award. This award recognizes the power of the individual as a key component to strengthening our communities through mentoring. Union Pacific sponsors this award because mentoring is an important form of volunteerism that is both a rewarding and life-changing experience for the mentor while also helping others obtain the confidence and skills that they need to live prosperous lives. We are proud to sponsor the Can Do Mentor Award and present it this year to Amy Kocher. She gives her time mentoring at Kids Can. Whether in person or now virtual, Amy always takes time to mentor Eliana. As Eliana's mom said, her daughter looks forward to her mentoring every week. Congratulations, Amy, on your dedication to your mentee, and please accept the 2021 Can Do Mentor Award. Thank you. It's an honor to receive this award. Thank you, Stephanie, for nominating me for the Kids Can, Can Do Mentor Award. Thanks, Robert, for introducing me to Kids Can. Um, I'm grateful to have the opportunity each week to share my love of learning and to learn and have fun with my mentee, Eliana. Coming from a long line of educators, I know how important early childhood is for education which is why it's so rewarding to get to interact with and have a positive impact on a young person's life by sharing my knowledge, experience, and my time. My sister, Christy, is with me today. She is a teacher at Bancroft, and it was just, I guess, serendipitous. Um, the family that was in the video, um, Cameron and his mom, um, Cameron is in my sister's class this year. So can, uh, Kids Can has really done so much with the kids who were remote and were coming to Kids Can every day um, rather than staying at home. Um, so it really made a big difference. Um, so again, thank you very much. It's a big honor. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Um, congratulations on the award. Um, I know, Amy, you want to share one more special message before you left the before you left the building. Now, I was going to say before I leave the stage, but now that I'm back on the stage, I'd like to share a personal message. Um, this past year has been something to behold at Kids Can and across Omaha, which is evident by all of my fellow Can Do recipients. I know Robert, I have known Robert for a long time um, and mentored at and supported Kids Can just as long. Last year, literally overnight, things changed drastically for all of us, yet through it all, the courage of Kids Can, their staff, families, and students led the way, showing us all how to react and continue programming. There is a bright future on the horizon for us all, and at Kids Can, with their amazing new 
community center breaking ground this summer. So exciting. Uh, my special request to all of you is that we rally behind our friends at Kids Can and show them what our combined support can do. You will find a link in the chat to their donation page. Uh, please consider a contribution for all Kids Can has accomplished and all they can do in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Amy, and thank you for being such a special part of Kids Can as a mentor, a committee co-chair, and a friend. I can't think of a better person to share that personal message with at the end of uh, our luncheon today. Um, as we reach the end, I just want to give a special thanks to all of you that are here with us in person and to those that are watching virtually for making this event possible. Uh, because of your can-do attitude, we can educate, engage, and inspire kids every day. Also, don't forget about us tomorrow on Fund It Friday during Sure Omaha's Do Good Week. Thank you, and have a great rest of the day.